Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called God is Afflicting Your Enemies. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I would have a download of information where I would know everything that happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Okay, right. As I said, this, this morning my title is called God is Afflicting Your Enemies. But before I begin, I would like to read for you from Numbers 12 from 1 to 16. And it follows. And Miriam and Aaron spake against Moses because of the Ethiopian woman whom he had married. For he had married an Ethiopian woman. And they said, As the Lord indeed spoken only by Moses, has he not spoken also by us? And the Lord heard it. Now the man Moses was very meek above all men which were upon the face of the earth. And the Lord spake suddenly unto Moses and unto Aaron and unto Miriam, Come out, ye three, unto the tabernacle of the congregation. And they three came out. And the Lord came down in the pillar of the cloud and stood in the door of the tabernacle and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forth. And he said, Hear now my words. If there be a prophet among you, I, the Lord, will make myself known unto him in a vision and will speak unto him in a dream. My servant Moses is not so, who is faithful in all mine house. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even apparently and not in dark speeches, and the similitude of the Lord shall he behold. Wherefore then were he not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? And the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed. And the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow, and Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous. And Aaron said unto Miriam, Alas, my Lord. And Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not the sin upon us, wherein we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. Let her not be as one dead, of whom the flesh is half consumed, with when he cometh out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O God, I beseech thee. And the Lord said unto Moses, If her father had but spit in her face, should she not be ashamed for seven days? Let her be shut out of the camp for seven days, and after that let her be received in again. And Miriam was shut out from the camp for seven days, and the people journeyed not, journeyed not until Miriam was brought in again. And afterward the people removed from Ezroth and pitched in the wilderness of Paran. Amen. God is afflicting your enemies. On the 25th of May 21, the Lord said he will and he has shut the mouths of the lions, meaning your enemies. The lions are the enemies and the Lord has shut the mouths of the lions. 
those who have made it their point of duty to criticize you, speaking negatively about you, and, you know, also looking and wanting to see you fail, speaking about your failures. These enemies will end up coming back to you to ask you to pray for them. In the same way that Moses had to pray for Miriam, his own sister. For God is no respecter of persons. Then on the 23rd of September 21, the Lord said, If anyone speaks against my prophets, if anyone speaks against my prophets, but he did not continue. Then the following day of the 24th of September 21, the Lord said that enemies will be afflicted and some will die. Affliction can come in different forms, such as illnesses, sicknesses, or even problems, and this will be the portion of your enemies. Going back to the 13th of December 2020, the Lord said, in the end, your enemies will be your angels. In the end, your enemies will be your angels. They will know that they cannot stand against you. Therefore, they will have no choice but to be your friend. The Lord is with you. So they will not be able to stand against you. This is also scriptural, for it says in Proverbs 16, verse 7, it says, When a man's ways pleases, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he maketh his enemies be at peace with him. For fear so fear not, for the Lord your God is with you. The Lord your God is with you. The Lord will fight for you. You do not need to respond, the Lord is saying, to your enemies. But watch and see, you know, the salvation of the Lord. So pay no attention to your enemy, the Lord is saying. Because the Lord will deal with your enemies. The word of the Lord also tells us that vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. And so the Lord will deal with your enemies. There is no need to be dismayed. There is no need to feel, you know, cast down because of what your enemies are speaking against you. Because the Lord will deal with your enemies, he is saying. He said, in the end, what a blessing. In the end, your enemies will will become your angels, those who are still alive, those who have been afflicted. They will turn and realize that God has called you and that God has blessed you and they cannot speak against you. So in the end, the Lord is saying, those enemies will become your friends or become your angels. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, these are my few words for today. But before I go, I would like to say, if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal savior, I'd like to encourage you to receive the Lord today before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to any man and we could die in our sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you today to seek the Lord before it's too late for you. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you also to seek the Lord today, to turn to him now before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to you. What will it gain? What will you gain to, to gain this old world and to lose your soul? And so I encourage you to receive the Lord today before it's too late. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of the world and the things of God. I want to encourage you also 
to receive the Lord today, to turn to him before it's too late for you. The word of the Lord said, let your light so shine that men will see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. As I've said before, the world is watching. So let us be an example, a true representative of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. These are my few words for today. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.